How you doing good people? This is the 8-Bit Animal. And today we're going to talk about one of those games that kind of flew under the radar for a long time because it came out towards the end of the NES life cycle. And so a lot of people didn't play it. And as such, finding a legit copy in resale is a nightmare now. This was also a game published by Taito. Which means Taito, what I've noticed is that a lot of Taito's stuff, that was a thing. A lot of their stuff after like Target Renegade, a lot of their stuff just hard to find and stupid expensive in resale. Um, the thing is, a lot of those games are really, really good. We're going to talk about a couple more of them before this year is out. Um, this game is notable because it's developed by Kid. The team that developed the G.I. Joe games on the NES, Low G-Man, Burai Fighter, Isolated Warrior. So that team is steeped in dropping heat also. So you got, you got this Grail Factory in Taito. And this team that develops a bunch of heat and kid. And this game, <laughs> you put those two things together, and this game is actually phenomenal. I love this title. I wish I had a copy of my own. Today, we're going to take a look at Kickmaster. Now, in Kickmaster, you play as um, a martial a young martial artist named Thanalan, who accompanies his brother Makarin to go and rescue this princess who was kidnapped by the forces of an evil wizard named Belzid. They run out to they run out to go rescue the princess. They run into a skeleton. Skeleton kills Macarin. Macarin tells Thanalin, You need to. My steel was no match for this monster. Use your great kicking skills. That's the that's in the in the game intro. Use your great kicking skills to rescue the princess. And that you do. This game, you don't, you, the only weapons you have are magic and your feet. So, everybody get a foot. Skeletons, bats, zombies, these weird flying griffin things, all the in amazing bosses. This game has, this game is beautiful, it has some beautiful boss artwork, like, it's amazing. There's a kraken in the game somewhere. There's like a, a lady with like a cere with like a wild looking cerebus, um, stuff like that. Along your journey, you learn a bunch of different magic spells. So Thanalan isn't defenseless. You also level up and learn different kicks. Um, you can level up your standard kick to uh, to like a spin kick. There's a slide. There's like a handstand kick, a knee drop, all manner of stuff, all manner of foot to face style. And the game plays great. It gives you the same vibe of um, an old Castlevania title, like in that original trilogy, which ain't a bad thing at all. Um, but yeah, this game has some light RPG elements. It's got a lot of action. It's a colorful, bright, colorful game with a lot going on. And yeah, it, it's one of those things that it's a shame that it came out so late because it would have been one of the bigger hits on the NES. This came out in 1992. So yeah, we we you know the ones of those of us who played it, 
It was a it was a winner. Um, too bad couldn't get a copy though, because I still want one. If you are trying to get one though, cheapest copy I saw was for a hundred dollars even. On average though, about about a hundred and twenty hundred and forty dollars for for a loose cart. It's it's one of those things late in the NES life cycle game prices were crazy especially like the, those games that came out towards the end the resale on those are crazy especially if it's an act if it's a good if it's a good game or a really bad game the prices are crazy if it's just mediocre then you know it is what it is Kickmaster is a really good game and as such, commands a really high resale price. Not as bad as some of the other stuff Taito put out, though. Oh boy, wait till we talk about Lil Samson. This has been the 8 Ben Animal, and I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it's a dirty job. But somebody got to get in them guts.